don't know about you, but when I think about being older and reflecting on my life, I would like to think that in each time of my life that I had the opportunity to, I stood in my integrity. I stood in my truth. And in fact, I left every situation and person that I was a part of just a little bit better than it was before. Greetings, beautiful beings. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Rising with Rachel. I am Rachel and together we rise and talking about all things cosmic and consciousness. Today, I want to talk to you about why you will never regret being the bigger person, why you will never regret showing up to any person, any situation with nothing but love and that is because simply that's the truth of who you are you are a being of light that is at your core unconditional love source god universe whatever you want to call it energy whatever you want to call that energy it's the love frequency it is quite literally called christ consciousness it is nothing but love you know when we think about love we usually think about being in love or expressing love but you are love at the core of who you are that is you so when you are expressing that love whether it's in all the traditional ways that you think about or it's holding up boundaries for yourself because for example not only are you loving Loving yourself by having boundaries with someone, but also you are saying by setting those boundaries that, hey, listen, I love us both so much that this cycle that we're playing in right now, that can't go on anymore. It's old, it's retired. And because of that, it may seem like I'm just standing from a place where I'm looking after myself by setting these boundaries. But in reality, I also look after you because now you have to deal with all of the emotions on your side on what those boundaries mean. Are you frustrated? Are you angry? Are you feeling abandoned? And those those are all your shadows that you have to work on being the person who receives those boundaries. You know, it's all about intention. But my point of this message is that you will never regret being the person that chooses to express that love. It doesn't matter what it is, what the situation is. And trust me, I've been in situations that have hit literally far below the belt. And I have been in situations that I actually expressed love in the situation. And then after when I thought about what happened, I got all angry and I wish I reacted more in a fashion of going after justice in the actual situation, which was weird for me because it was like in the moment that I should have reacted badly, I actually reacted with love. And after the situation passed, I realized like, oh, I'm actually really upset about this. Why did I choose to be so nice? Why did I choose to be so understanding? Because stories started playing in my head where it's like, okay, well, you were a pushover and you shouldn't have been or somebody walked all over you because you let them. But the truth is that in those moments where I was seeing people's darkest shadows, I still chose to express unconditional love and to say that at my core, it's not who I am to react with more fire. The truth of who I am doesn't want this person to suffer even though they cause suffering for me because that's who I am. And that's who this other person is too because at their core, they are unconditional love and they don't want to see me suffer either, but their conscious awareness, their ego might not know that, you know? But with my awareness of the fact that we are just two beings, two souls that incarnated into these roles and are having the situation in our life, that perspective allowed me to have a lot of compassion and to still express love, even though it definitely wasn't warranted. But after I'd done some more of the healing work around the angers and the frustrations, I realized that I would not have chosen any other way to react because I don't have anything to regret. I don't regret expressing love because not only is that the truth of who I am, but that's what helps the situation. You know, I don't believe that somebody who does a crime learns by suffering further. I just think it perpetuates more suffering instead of offering that unconditional love, even when it's not fair, even when it's not just, even when it's not deserved or right. It is the truth of who we are as beings of this God source energy to express that. And that's how I believe true rehabilitation is even possible. And I obviously know that gets really tricky depending on what somebody has done. But regardless, again, back to the point of this video is that I don't regret sharing love that I've ever given ever because I know that it's always been needed when I have expressed it. And when I look back on the situations where it was my reaction to be love and then I was mad later on and I was like, how could I be so nice to someone that treated me so horribly? I would think that's 
because it's who you are that's who you are your character is to be somebody that is still kind to the people that have consciously chosen to hurt you to betray you to mistreat you it says nothing about them but it says everything about me and that's something that i've realized is truly a strength and is something that i would choose time and time again because i don't ever regret sharing that love whereas somebody that does something bad or out of integrity or out of their truth of who they are and they're perpetuating suffering and sadness and frustration and their anger and all the projections that they're putting onto their external world and the people in it, they will have a lot of regrets. And I don't know about you, but I want to be an old person that looks back on my life and says, you know what? Every single moment I moved with love. I did nothing but show up and make people and places better, even if they didn't deserve it. And yes, it might have been hard on me in the moment, but at the end, I know that I can bask in the warmth of my own light because it's me. It's never about anybody else or feeling the warmth of anybody's light. And although it might be a beautiful feeling to experience somebody else's warmth, you're the one that has to remember that you are the sunshine. The only warmth that you need to care about being basked in is the warmth of your own light. And I can confidently say, that when I am that old person, I have done the work and I will continue to do the work because that's something that is super important to me is being that love and extending that love. And it's something I'll never regret. And you shouldn't either. You should not think of expressing unconditional love, even against people that don't deserve it as a weakness, as something to shame yourself about, as something that someone was able to just do to you. Like, no, you chose that. You chose that because that's who you are. That's in your character. And that is beautiful. It's incredible. It's healing. It's quite literally the reason that you were born here on this planet, because we need more people like you, like us, implementing these love codes onto Earth's crystalline grid system so that she can embody the fifth dimensional planet she was always meant to be, but also the beings on the planet, you, me, our brothers and sisters, and the animals, the plants, and everything else on the planet has the opportunity to rise to this level of love because we are the ones that are setting those bars. We are the ones planting in those codes that other people, beings, everything else has access to without even realizing. Because of the energetic work that we put in, there is somebody on some other side of the planet that is going to be able to extend unconditional love to somebody that clearly, desperately needs it, seeing as to how they are doing nothing but perpetual waiting suffering somewhere on the planet and maybe that person wouldn't have had the strength to do that but one day they did because they were tapped in energetically to the grid system that we are planting these codes in when you do the work to heal when you share your light when you embody your love you are not just doing it for you you are also doing it for every single person in your life but also every single being on the planet that's why it's so important to heal as well not just for you but it's because you're quite literally taking care of the entire world so keep being loving keep being being you. Don't let any person, place, or experience let you go below the bar of who you are okay? Set your standard. See your love as a strength. Work to be in a place where you don't need it to be reciprocated back to you, okay? Because a lot of the times we get stuck in this judgment then when our unconditional love either isn't received well, someone's trying to run away from us and abandon us because they're scared of themselves and their own shadows and the fact that they're being unconditionally loved when they probably never have been before. See that as your strength. See that as your medicine that you are here to offer everyone that enters your life and the messages that you're here to anchor through your embodiment of of that. But most importantly, know that it's you and it's for you. You know, when you're on the more spiritual awakened path, it could definitely be a lonely one. And really, you just have to work to be in the place where you can comfortably sit alone because you realize that you're not lonely and you can bask in this love, God, source, whatever energy you want to call it, that is you because you will be so deep into that, that you will feel that that love is something that you can access at any given time and you don't need another person, place or external being or experience to reflect that back to you. You know, the reason that we fall in love with people is because yes, we do love them, but also they are a portal deeper into ourselves. The reason that we fall in love with someone is because we embody the love that is the truth of the universe when we are with them. They are the mirror to that love, which is why also it's so important to remember that after you lose somebody or a relationship that you didn't lose any love. The reason that you were able to feel that depth, that capacity was because of you, was not even because of the other person. And if you have ever been through a serious breakup, then you know that one. But if that's some news to you, I promise that that's the most liberating feeling you can ever experience 
experience because you realize that it's you the whole time. That love, that God source, universal Christ consciousness, that is you at your core and it's always there for you. It's just a matter of you needing to look deeper inwards to figure out where it is within you and sit within it, sit with it, be it, embody it. But don't be shamed about it. Don't let it be something that makes you feel weak ever. Know that every time you've ever expressed unconditional love, especially in the moments that it wasn't deserved, you were the stronger one. And because of that, you will have nothing to regret later on in your life. You will have nothing to regret three minutes after you extend that love because it means you moved with integrity. You moved with honesty. You moved in the truth of who you are and how anybody else moves is honestly none of your business. The only thing that is your business is how you respond to whatever it is that people are projecting. When you respond with love, you are healing not only yourself and every other aspect of you, but you are also healing the entire planet. So continue to choose love. It is the strongest thing that you can do. Thank you so much for allowing me to deliver this message, soldier. I know that if you're watching this video, you are on the forefront of this spiritual revolution with me and you are definitely a way shower in whichever way you express. And it's an honor to be here with you. I see you. I love you. I honor you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.